Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another video for The Sims 4. And this time I am showing off two mods by Ice Mun Mun. As you can see here, there's this beekeeping box, and it's actually functional. It is pretty similar to the one from Sims 3 Supernatural. And there's also a custom lasagna recipe that I'm going to show off. That's also by her. Yeah, not two things I would <laughs> normally put in the same video, but they came out pretty close together, so I was like, you know what, I'll just do them both in one video. <laughs> so let's talk about the beekeeping box first. I'll actually show you where they are in build mode before I forget. So I go to miscellaneous appliances, I'm actually right in there, how convenient. <laughs> and then uh, there is this honey as well, uh, which is uh, it's part of the whole thing. But yeah, the bee box right here, 300 simoleons for harvestable honey and wax. Because when you collect the honey, you can get honey, beeswax, or you could just get stung and have to wait two hours to, uh, to collect the honey again, or at least attempt to collect it. But here's all the colors for it. A pretty good variety overall. I don't think I have any complaints here. But let's just get to showing off the gameplay of it, and then I'll show the lasagna at the end. Alright, so I'll have Catherine come and smoke the box. I'll also have Ronan come and do that, just in case there's a bit of failure involved, because <laughs> your sim could actually smoke themselves by accident. There's a chance of that happening. It's pretty funny. So let's see what happens to both of these sims. Okay, so what did Ronan get? Smoke bees or combi? So he was successful. So let's have him try and collect. And what about her? Okay. Wow, this is like the third time I recorded this. <laughs> Hopefully third time is a charm because, wow, like the, the last attempt was a hot mess for sure. I kept getting beeswax and I was never getting honey. We'll see if that happens again. Well, we just did get beeswax with Catherine, it seems. Like this some beeswax. Wait, what did Ronan get? Oh, he got stung? Okay, so there are a decent number of uh, custom moodlets here. So he got bee stung from being stung by bees. Ouch, that hurts. Actually, what I'm going to do is make him go inside. Because, yes, he is a vampire. So I don't want him to burn in the sun. I'll just have him go inside for a little bit. But, yeah, we got this wax here. And what's interesting is on the download page, it says that she's working on, um, it's like a candle waxing station. Let me just double check here. It's, um, yeah, the honey beeswax. Yeah, can, right now you can still sell it from the inventory straight away, or you can sell it the City Living craft tables if you have the City Living expansion pack. But yeah, there's, um, B will be utilized later for a custom candle making table. So that that sounds pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to that. I actually did see her tweet about that in the past. But since you can just sell this, yep, just get the five simoleons. And you do have to normally wait two hours for this option to be available again. Actually, we have one more sim we can try this with. Michael, a little teenager here. The children cannot use this, by the way. It's just from teens through elders who can smoke the box. Kids can view it if they want to, but I don't know. I'm not sure why you'd want to, but if you want to, you can. Okay, wow, I'm getting extremely lucky with not having Sims smoking themselves. <laughs> that happened so often last time. You collected some beeswax, you can find an inventory. Okay, it's just, yeah, the same thing. Again, okay, so I'm actually going to be a little bit bad here and cheat because I don't want to have to wait two hours for the purpose of this video to just do the whole process over and over again because that's what I had to do before. Uh, actually, before I get rid of these buffs, uh, so there's this collective wax here. Now what do we do with this beeswax question mark? I get rid of the moodlet. Yay, cheat. All right, so now we can smoke it again instead of having to wait two hours, and hopefully things will go our way. But if all else fails, you can just buy the honey straight from build mode, as you saw earlier. 
And I almost want her to smoke herself just to see, like, the hilarity that would happen, but... <laughs> well, maybe we'll see what happens, but... Uh, oop. Okay. Wait, what did she get smoked? He hive. Wait, did she get... Oh, she got wax again. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we'll try this one more time. And then if this doesn't work, I'm just going to go into build mode and show it off. But yeah, this is a really, really neat object. Definitely one of the, my favorite modded objects that I've come across so far. Yep, of course she got the wax again. Wow, I'm really surprised. <laughs> my sims haven't, like, smoked themselves. Okay, so let's go to build mode and let's get the honey. So yeah, it's 30 simoleons if you just want to get it straight from build mode. All right, and there it is on the floor. So it does have like the honeycombs on it, so it's a little bit easier to tell. That's definitely the honey and not the wax, but let's just, let's just sell this one anyways. That one in here. Okay, so you have two options. You can eat the honey straight up, or you can craft a jar of honey. So we're gonna craft the jar of honey. And there we go, we got a little jar right here. I'll just go over inside here so I can better show you what it looks like. Actually, I don't know if it's just me, but the shape of it reminds me of a bear. I don't. Maybe that was actually intentional. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, kinda cute. And then what you can do with that is you can do pretty much the same thing as with the beeswax. So you can like sell it with the city living crafts table if you want. and Or you could just sell it. It's worth 50 simoleons. But you can also drink it. You can have, a, you have some sweet honey just straight from the bottle. And then I'm pretty sure there's... Yeah, there's a moodlet right here. Sweet honey from crafting a jar from homemade honey. I can't remember if there's a buff for actually drinking the honey though. We'll see what happens after she's done drinking it all. Okay, if this Oh, her hunger mode is already all the way up so I couldn't really see how much hunger it fills, but I'm guessing it's not too much. Oh, okay, so the jar is still empty. Actually, let's see if it's worth anything. It's still <laughs> it's still worth 50 simoleons even though the bottle's empty. Wow, that that's that's kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know if that can be changed, but I guess it'd be nice if that could be updated. And yeah, in case you're wondering about this corn right here, I already did a video on this in the past, so I'll leave a card to that if you want to check it out. But Ice Mun Mun made this as well. It's it's super cool for sure. Definitely love it. So I got this like whole cornfield going here. But oh, there's a moodlet. Homemade honey. Sweet syrupy homemade honey. Okay, let's let's try smoking this one more time because I just want to see if I can do the smoking, uh, or it's not the smoking thing. Just like ah, if they I smoke themselves by accident. But uh -huh. wow, she's very focused from all of this honey-related stuff. Well, I guess that's another another reason to have this because like if if your sims aren't really the intellectual type and don't really have a, a chess board then uh, Yeah, it's kind of hard to get focused. I think Usually that's one of the emotions my sims aren't in very often so Okay, well, I did get some footage of my sims getting uh, Getting smoked by themselves. So if I haven't put that on screen already, then yeah, and put it on now, I guess. Oh man, too much smoke for me. <laughs> but other than that, let's show off the lasagna. So, actually, I just gotta check one thing real quick here. Make sure your cooking skill is level 7. Yes, it is. Okay. Because, yeah, for the lasagna, you need to have your cooking skill at level 7. Otherwise, it will not appear for you. Because <laughs> initially, I was like, wait, what's going on? But... Yeah, Catherine's cooking skill is only level 6. So you do need the custom food and uh, drinks interaction. Or, yeah, it's just called custom food interactions. Version 2.1 or higher 
And, well, you're going to need that mod if you want to have custom food at all in your game. So if you have custom food, hopefully you have that mod already. So you want to go to cook custom meal. You want to scroll down a little bit in my case. And then lasagna is there. Skill level 7. And you can also use tomatoes for it if you have any in your inventory. Unfortunately, I don't have any right now. And you get all the normal options. So let's make a family size serving. And gosh, like, I'm just, I'm so happy that someone's made lasagna for The Sims 4 because I've been wanting this, <laughs> wanting The Sims 4 to have lasagna since the game has come out. That's like my favorite food. So, yeah, I am pretty darn stoked to see this. Hopefully, Maxis themselves will put lasagna in the game. They eventually did in The Sims 3 with the wood fire oven from Monte Vista. So hopefully in The Sims 4 it'll eventually come back. Yeah, we didn't really get any Italian food in City Living. It was like a multicultural expansion pack, but I guess they wanted to do more food that hasn't been done in The Sims, which I don't blame them for. That's that's fine. It's good that we have a huge variety of food now, so just hopefully we'll get lasagna at some point, officially. But there you can see all the custom stages of it being made. Ricky is very hungry. All right. Ah, all right. <laughs> that's that's solved. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the toddler's not the focus of this video, but I just don't feel like having the social worker take him away on camera. That'd be a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> but let's continue watching her make some lasagna. Let's fast forward this a little bit. Yeah, Ice Mon Mon has made a lot of food, for sure. And a lot of harvestables too, including that corn stalk that you saw earlier. So, yeah, I definitely recommend checking out uh, her on Mod The Sims. Yeah, the uh, candle station sounds pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to that when it comes out. But there it is. There's uh, what it looks like as the group portion. I'll have her uh, pick it up as well. You can also take a quick, quick little picture. There we go. Should be good. And there it is as an individual portion as well. Actually, let's let's see if we can oop call the whole family to meal. Okay. Because yeah, I think there is also like a look for it when it's like when there's less of it left in the group serving but there it is when it's like partially eaten yeah it all it all looks very good and it's making me hungry that's for sure yeah <laughs> whenever i record a video before eating dinner i know how you all feel <laughs> when <laughs> i retweet tons of food pictures on my twitter page yeah, that's definitely something you're missing out on if you're not already following me on Twitter. But yeah, I think that pretty much wraps up for this video. I also like the custom plate for this, by the way. It's pretty neat. Pretty neat. But yeah, I definitely highly recommend downloading both of these mods by Icemon1. Once again, she did a very good job. I will leave download links for both of them in the video description below. And be sure to leave a like, or a comment, or even subscribe, because it lets me know that you like my channel, my videos, and it helps you keep up to date more easily with the latest content for me. I do videos on The Sims, Sonic the Hedgehog, and more. So I'll talk to you all later, and have a great day. Thanks for watching.